MIUI 13 Global Stable vs Xiaomi EU Custom ROM Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and let us do a comparison of the features of MIUI 13 Global Stable and the features of MIUI 13 Xiaomi EU Custom ROM which again is based on Global Stable but they have added some pretty cool features. So on the left you do have the POCO X3 Pro which right now is running MIUI 13 Xiaomi EU and on the right you have the POCO F3 or the Mi 11X which right now is running MIUI 13 Global Stable and this is the my device or the about page on both of these devices and as you can see there is some difference over here you have your table over here you have a list over here and you have your extended ram mentioned over here 6 plus 2 gb that is not the case go into all specs and that is how the page looks over here again you have the device name extended ram is mentioned on both of them android version of course is 12 across both the devices then we can also go to the home screen so Xiaomi EU ROM comes with MIUI launcher out of the box and on the right this here is the POCO F3 so it comes with Poop launcher. Now do note all builds of Xiaomi EU will come with MIUI launcher irrespective of the fact whether you are using it on your POCO device or you are using it on your Redmi device or Mi device. Then this is how the power menu looks like. EU does have the new cool looking power menu then let us have a look at the control center so the control center is the same on both these devices not the actual MIUI 13 iOS cloned control center however if you want that we do have a video on how to get it in the description of this video and another thing before I forget because this here on the left on EU is MIUI launcher you do get your application vault and your Google search bar at the bottom and with POCO launcher you do have the bug wherein I'm not sure why they showed this white background on the gesture bar. Next up we can have a look at the applications let us start with the camera application so the UI is the same both of them have the notification that your camera is being used by the specific application let us go into more have a look at if you have some additional features now the Mi 11X or the POCO F3 does seem to have a feature called movie effects but I think that is device specific so the camera is the same which you get with the stable version next up let us have a look at the gallery application so you can clearly see that the gallery app on the EU version has has more features and the one on your POCO F3 or the Mi 11X is still the old one similarly let us check out the file manager application as well and there it is again the same thing you have the newer version of file manager application on your EU builds then we can have a look at the security application as well so the features are are the same just that to open toolbox you have to swipe up on your EU builds but that's it just a small UI change then we can head over to settings but before that one thing which I forgot is that in your control center on EU builds you do have your data usage so jumping over to the settings page something you will notice different is when you scroll and reach the end the EU builds have a bouncy effect something which is not present in the global build we already discussed about my device and about phone system app updater is missing on the EU build because they do not allow you to update your system applications going into sim card and mobile networks you do have some similar options but the EU build has added your always receive MMS and remembering your sim preferences then for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth options are exactly the same going into connection and sharing first of all here you have me share so so you will notice a different UI here on the left hand side on your EU build I'm not sure if it makes any difference in the functionality though because both of them are of course based on stable builds then the next option on your EU build is wallpaper and personalization and on the stable build they have it under two separate sections which is your wallpaper and themes so 
on your global stable this is the ui which you get this is the old ui and based on whether the fact whether you have lcd device or amoled device you may or may not have these super wallpapers but on your eu build irrespective of the fact whether you have amoled or lcd super wallpapers are present you do get the new miui 13 crystallization live wallpapers as well along with the molten glass ones something which has been missing in miui 13 stable build and do not be surprised that is how the global build rolls then we can also head over to the themes section and of course for poco devices you get only two themes eu has five themes and you can of course import your mtz files as well in case you like any other theme now with respect to your font the eu build does have the new misans font that font is totally totally missing in your miui 13 global stable build and then you can customize your icons as well and you can customize your lock screen layout also you have four different options you do have the same options on the global build as well and for that let us now jump over to always on display and lock screen now do note that the eu build is not going to add always on display option for lcd devices that is something which they have stayed away from and again poco x3 pro lcd panel so no always on display option but if you were to run an eu build on the poco f3 or the mi 11x you will have your always on display customizations then you have your sleep options raise to wake double tap to wake but the eu build has new options for your wake lock screen for notifications and whether you want to enable or disable your power menu access the lock screen clock format is the same but eu also has the option of choosing between multiple lock screen charging animations and they also have a toggle to enable or disable the pocket mode which again might be device specific next up let us head over to the display section so the ui is the same you also have the option of dark mode going to more dark mode options and the options are exactly the same then we can head over to the brightness level and again you have your sliders automatic brightness sunlight mode smooth in transitions is amoled only so if i were to run xiaomi eu on my poco f3 or the mi 11x i should have that option reading mode options are exactly the same and you also have the option of configuring your color scheme as well in case you want to refresh rate yes you have only 60 and 120 so eu does not add the 90 hertz refresh rate option then you have your memc present on the poco f3 again amoled panel so if i were to run xiaomi eu on the poco f3 i'm pretty sure i will have the option of memc as well then we have font settings and again xiaomi eu has the new mi sans font which is missing in the global build for now then xiaomi eu has also added a toggle for allowing all the rotation angles which is missing in the global build next up we have sound and vibration so the ui here is the same and if you go into the options of setting your ringtones you do get the same ringtones sliders is same sound assistant is present across both the belts and the next change you will notice is if you go down and here in you might have customization of vibration on tap you can configure between off light medium and strong and here in you have the slider and again i think this might be device specific now xiaomi eu has added a feature of profile video for incoming calls and if you go into additional settings they have added a bunch of different toggles as well to disable a bunch of other sounds and the best example here is play sounds when taking screenshot a pretty nifty feature in my humble opinion go into sound effects based on whether you have dolby or not you might or might not have that feature again poco x3 pro does not have dolby out of the box so that option is missing on the poco x3 pro next up we have notifications and control center so here you can of course customize your lock screen notification you have customization for floating notification badges per app notification is present across both the builds you have notification shade then your notification effect is present on the poco f3 and that is because it has an amulet panel 
again Xiaomi EU AMOLED devices will have this option then you can change your control center style whether you want the new version or the old version but Xiaomi EU has added a bunch of other options as well like switching the control center side to the left hand side if you want or collapse after touch next up we have customization for your smart home so that is same across both the devices items shown on lock screen again same options over here as well and then if we go into the option of status bar Xiaomi EU has added some new options like show LTE icon for 4G in case you want to and then showing your app icons for notifications then you can also hide the notch in both of these builds options are exactly the same and you can also configure the notch for individual applications in case you want to next option we have is home screen and i won't even bother with poop launcher but yes xiaomi eu comes with your miui launcher or system launcher you can change your minus one screen to app vault or google discover you also have your app vault customizations then you have double tap on the lock screen lock screen layout locking it they might have added some more home screen layouts yes you have 4x6, 4x7, up goes up to 6x7. Do you want to see the memory status, suggestions, and a bunch of other customizations? Next up, we have password and security. So the options here are the same setting your screen lock, fingerprint, and face unlock. We can scroll down to see if you have any other additional options in EU. That is not the case. Then you have safety and emergency. They are also the same. Go into privacy protection again options here are the same however i do see an additional toggle of permission notifications on xiaomi eu so let us test that one out and i did open the camera application i do have a green dot telling me that something is using the camera application so now let us go into our privacy protection options and enable this toggle so it was enabled out of the box and that is what it is supposed to do so if you enable or disable this toggle it will tell you what it is supposed to do you can receive an alert in the status bar when apps access your location record audio or take photos so this is something new which has been added in xiaomi eu only and it is not present in the global stable build then we can head over to the battery option and again you have the same options you can configure your ultra battery saver you can choose your battery saver profiles and if you go into the battery section you have the same features which are showing up in the battery section as well next up we have the option of apps so here and you will notice that uninstalled system apps is missing from xiaomi eu and that is because miui xiaomi they've been bragging about this feature since miui 12 or 12.5 yet to be implemented so i guess xiaomi you just decided to remove the menu option all together then you have your system apps setting manage apps dual apps permissions and application lock heading over to additional settings so you do have your full screen display over here because this is using poco launcher then you have your gesture shortcuts and you have launching your assistant taking a screenshot partial screenshot launching the camera turn on torch this double tap on the back is again it is device dependent so if i were to be running xiaomi eu on the poco f3 i would have that option then you have your quick ball feature and again everything looks the same over here 100 mode is also the same do note android 12 100 mode is being used in miui 13 roms which are based on android 12 then you also have clear speaker accessibility memory extension but this beautify for video calls is missing here in the xiaomi eu build next up we have screen time now global stable is using your google's implementation of digital well-being and parental controls xiaomi eu uses the miui china focus mode and screen time so that is again a nifty addition in xiaomi eu heading over to your special features you have sidebar same across both the devices the only difference you might notice is that you have something called light mode and miui lab enabled in your xiaomi eu builds me account google accounts and sync all those features are exactly the same go into your 
privacy options again you have the same options go into location same options over here as well services and feedback you have the same options in case you ever want to send feedback to me ui and xiaomi eu next up we can talk about the google applications so eu by default comes with your me ui contacts and me ui messaging application which means you should have your call recording enabled out of the box without having to do anything and i know a lot of people do prefer the call recording given by me ui dialer and their messages application other than that something else which i noticed is that the Xiaomi EU build it does not come with Chrome browser out of the box and it does come with MIUI browser and you also have your Mi mover then with respect to your screen recorder application let us see if they have added any additional features in the screen recorder so here it is let me open screen recorder across both the devices and again you will notice that you still do not have internal audio and microphone but then again you can blame xiaomi for that other than that all the other features are exactly the same when it comes to recording your screen on either miui 13 global stable or on your miui 13 custom rom xiaomi eu Next up with respect to Game Turbo. Now on both of these builds, Game Turbo is exactly the same. Not that the EU build has the updated MIUI China Game Turbo. They are exactly the same. Features are the same and the same applies for your sidebar as well. Now with respect to your package installer. So if I were to install an APK using the file manager on both of these devices, you will notice that the global stable comes with MIUI version of installer whereas this one over here the eu build has another version and this i think is from the china build it does let you check the permissions and all before you install it and once that is done you should be good to go however another super important thing to note over here is that you do get the option of deleting the application once installation has finished successfully but there is a limitation that the xiaomi eu rom does not let you update system applications by installing apks we do have a workaround for that which can be found in the description of this video and there it is peeps that was a side by side comparison of mi ui 13 global stable and mi ui 13 xiaomi eu both based on android 12 and i think the video should have helped you figure out what all additional features have been added with xiaomi eu and of course xiaomi eu is always richer and has more features and a better experience than the official build of mi ui global stable